Hello everyone, I hope you are well today. I'm going to do a couch healing. I haven't done one for a while and I know that lots of you like them. So I just want you to imagine that your head is up here. Get yourself comfortable, lie down somewhere and start to relax. I'm just going to rest my hand on your shoulders. As I want you to take a breath in and then breathe out and relax your body with that breath. Now take another breath in, breathing out the busyness from the day. And with every breath, you relax deeper and deeper and deeper. We're going to work on bringing you into alignment in whatever way that is and helping you to make the best choices for yourself and those in your care. So before we do anything, we're going to ground. Just imagine my hands upon your feet. And I want you to imagine and feel yourself getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Now, in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine a spinning orb travelling down from the source and enveloping you within a layer of love and light and protection, knowing that you are fully protected at all times. Take another breath in and breathe out again. We're going to ask now for your guides and your helpers. To work as a team with my guides and my helpers. Angels, spirit animals, whatever you subscribe to. Before we start, I'm just going to put some of these oils, or one of these oils, onto my hands. And these are chakra oils from a friend of mine in Australia. They are the Pure Perfume Co. And I'll put these notes in the show notes. I will remember this time. And they come beautifully packaged as a set in a box. Magnet box. With a wonderfully produced leaflet on the chakras. And I think today I'm guided to the heart. And these have in them I can read it. It has a mint oil in them. It has spikenard and a few other things, but I actually cannot read them. I need new glasses. And it has beautiful fluorite crystals, and these are really high. 
grade oils. <laughs> Let's just unscrew the top. I think it has rose in as well. And spikenard is cleansing. It is a antiseptic oil. So this will actually cleanse my hands at the same time. So the Pure Perfume Co. Breathe in that beautiful spearmint and rose and spikenard, probably a bit of citrus in there. And relax further and further. And I want you to set your intentions right now as we begin. What is out of alignment within your life? Placing my hand on your shoulder, I'm going to draw the master symbol, the Daikumio. 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 I'm going to bring that all the way down your chakra line, right the way down. To those feet. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything. We're going to start at the top of you at your crown. Draw the Seihei Ki and then we're just going to start clearing. Imagine that this energy center, as the petals open, there's a layer of dust. We're going to clear that dust off so that your messages can come through from your higher self, from your angels and guides, your ancestors, your animals. As I said, whatever you subscribe to. Clearing and cleansing it so that all of those thousand petals can reach and gain that wisdom those helpful knowings that we have within us, which will be your higher self and your guides. Breathe in and breathe out any doubts. on the shoulder and one over the crown. We're going to draw the chokure in. Push that down into the crown area. Sending those beautiful light codes, the reiki which is an intelligent energy within itself. So it knows what to do even if we don't. Breathe in and out. Relaxing still further. With every single breath, Whether you use this for sleep, relaxation, or just a Reiki treatment. Okay. At 
that's great. Now, at the third eye energy center, you'll draw the say hey key. You may hear some movement behind me as other people walk around the house. Let's clear out some of this confusion, any headaches, any doubts, any busyness, all of those adverts you see in the day when you're scrolling, when you're driving past billboards. Any mental health issues, anxiety, worry. Clear it. I think we need a little bit stronger here. So we'll take the amethyst wand. Okay. Just wrapping that heavy chi around this. We're just going to spiral outwards. going to come and work on the other side of you because I'm a bit cack handed that way. There we are. Maybe it's just that you're really tired. Maybe it's that you're overthinking something. Lay this down here between your feet so that energy gets drawn down you and out of the point. And now we send the light back in, the Reiki back in. Hands the other side of your temples. Breathe in positivity and breathe out confusion. Just draw a chakra at either side. Again, breathing in the light, the positivity and breathing out any confusion. I actually have a piece of lapis lazuli on and as you can see the blue within it is the colour that we send in but also in some chakra systems it is amethyst so those purples, those blues, those light curves, stillness especially if you wish to be resting with this video. I'm going to draw in the distant healing. Just in case you're worrying about things that have happened in the past because you can't change it. And also, if you're worrying about anything in the future, worry solves nothing. I know we can't help it. Placing my hands in that triangular figure just to direct it directly into your third eye. Okay. And a final choke array, which I'm going to draw around you 
to protect it. Now, down to the throat, the Seiheiki. Relax your throat, your tongue, your neck and your shoulders. Smoothing out any tension. And following that relaxation down your arms to your elbows, your wrists, and even your individual fingers. Relax your thumbs, your indexes, your middle. And your ring, and even the little pinky on both hands. Relax the digits because it's very difficult to relax every single part of us. And I notice that when I have a healing, I often tense my index finger. Clearing anything left unsaid, any blockages with your creativity. Remember, think before you speak or before you text. Clearing any anger. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. The abalone rings will help forgiveness to be voiced easily. Remember, forgiveness is a two-way street. If you need forgiveness and you don't forgive others, it won't come back to you. to go and get a crystal now. This is celestite. Just gently smoothing the throat chakra area. Rubbing this in the aura. We'll just put that there. And again, now drawing the chokere completely around. as we move to the heart center. Say hey key for clearance. Honsha tse shoten. To go back down the timelines, karmic and in your own life, to go forward in the timelines. And Start clearing any heartache, any anger, any worry as well. Placing my hands either side 
here. Visualizing the lungs now as a tree, tree roots, and infusing with white light, repairing any of the cells. Breathe in that spearmint, rose, and spike and hard energies. And out. Asking the angels of the violet fire and the violet flame. Just teasing any last remnants out. I'm sensing the need to use a clear quartz. I'm going to get another crystal. Very gentle green moonstone. You can't quite see the colour in here, but it is like mint. I'm going to hold it above this so that we spiral this gentle moonstone energy in. Peace and healing tranquility, fullness, happiness, light, love, standing. Beautiful heart chakra oil soothes you even more so. that at the heart now. Draw the chakra rays in. Breathing in love and light and breathing out any heaviness. Sending that in either side of you. Letting the Reiki, which is an intelligent form of energy, find what it needs to, seeking out those darkest recesses where you've closed the door inside your heart. Just imagine a key now slotting into that locked door, turning it and opening it and the light floods in. Okay, place a hand underneath you. Again, drawing that distant healing symbol behind you for everything that has gone before. Okay, well done. Okay, let's just move that a little bit up. Okay, underneath your heart now to the solar plexus. 
and they kind of bleed into each other. I'm just drawing the clearance symbol in now. And we're really removing the tiredness, the stagnancy, the despondence. Imagine these chakras like sliced citrus with all of the different segments and some of them a bit devoid of energy. You know when a piece of fruit starts to go over and the moistness dries up. Any lack of self-confidence. Okay. Chokore. As I move further away from your body, I draw it into the screen as well. Breathing in confidence, breathing in courage, breathing in standing. Helping with any digestive issues because your stomach and colon are all at this area. They, they, the colon goes in like a sort of square movement around. And imagining beautiful yellow of the Manipura chakra. Golden yellow light, as well as with the violet Reiki symbols. Placing my hands at your waist Visualising the organs, the musculoskeletal unit around you and also the rib cage. Asking the Reiki light to replenish any cells that have died off and help new ones grow in their space. I feel I want to just go underneath you slightly. So I'm just going to wrap my hands and send it in from the back, in the middle of your back, if there's any backache there, muscular, spinal. And drawing in the choker ray behind you and again above you. Breathe out for me, relaxing still further and further. Okay, and sealing that layer of the aura with beautiful golden light. Okay, now we move down to your hips and your sacral. About three, two to three fingers width below your belly button. Now I'm just going to place a hand on your side as I draw in the say hey key. I'm going to draw it into the ovaries as well for the women. And 
and we start to spiral out. Cleansing, clearing, releasing any sexual tension. Any emotional damage as this energy center is aligned to water. Cleansing and clearing this. Must admit I'm feeling more of like this quartz today. Let's spiral away. And you can you, you don't have to have amethyst or smoky quartz. If you can only afford one point get yourself a clear one because we can infuse these with other crystals and send Reiki through with the crystal as well I'm going to place a hand on your hip. I'm going to work behind you, just teasing out any lower back ache, any issues with the kidneys, or the adrenals. Rub the adrenals to warm them up. First thing in the morning, it's what the Tai Chi masters advise us to do. to get the waterworks flowing and emptying your system out, ready for a new day. Okay. Now, the sacral is all of those sunset colors, those oranges, those reds, those yellows, those rose golds even some of those violet colors. We spiral in those colors and that light and that Reiki. To right any imbalances, correct them. I'm gonna place a hand on each hip. regulate the bounce between them. Okay. And drawing that energy to run around each hip joint, crossing the middle and drawing the chakra rays to balance. And now we come to the Mulhadhara, the root chakra, the base chakra. Your connection to your survival, the feeling center. So we already have this amethyst here, drawing energy down. And I've placed my hand between your knees. So I'm going to place a hand on the hip. I'm going to draw that say hey key in. So 
I want you to bring your awareness now into your root chakra where the pelvic floor exercises happen, male or female. If you clench underneath, you can feel where it is. So any worries about work, any worries about your home situation or your family. But also aiding in the last part of digestion. If it is underactive, you're probably a bit constipated. If it is overactive, you're worrying too much. But also you might be very loose down there. bit closer just for those watching sitting up okay. now. I'm gonna turn that stone around and I'm gonna amplify that with that quartz Imagine beautiful red, bright light, but also think of the stones and the soil, all of those colours within there. Even, you might even see some blues. Every colour we see is of the earth, it is on the earth. Let's draw the, uh, the chilkare. Breathing in positivity, keeping your vibration high, remembering just for today, do not worry. Just for today, do not anger. Be kind to all living creatures. Do your work honestly. And honour your teachers and your elders. Now for the legs, I'm just going to do dry brushing down them. This is a Japanese technique. You can do it all the way down your body. I'm just going to sweep any aches and pains, any last remnants down the legs and out of your feet. Now, I'm going to hold my hands about an inch above your thighs, starting at the pelvis that we'd already healed at the hip joints, sending white, replenishing light into them, cushioning between the bones so that they don't rub. And then I'm going to travel down, down the thighs. Visualising the bones, the sinew, the flesh, the veins, the skin and the meridians. I'm going to pause over your knees. Send in that white and blue light. Spiralling it in. And draw in a chip ray. To help them work and protect them and then we're going to travel down the shins and resting on your ankles 
doing the same thing, sending in that white light into the joint here, imagining the cushioning pockets of fluid between the bones so they don't rub on each other. And then down into the foot, placing my hands on top of your feet. Breathe in and breathe out. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. So I'm going to put my hands around your ankles and I'm just going to gently pull and lean back, stretching you out a little bit. So my weight, which is only eight stone in old money, can just stretch and align you. going to do each arm. So I'm going to place a hand at your shoulder and I'm going to just pull gently on your arm, stretching that out again, your shoulder, leaning my weight. And then I'm just going to gently relax and brush down your fingers and out. And now the other arm. So I'm just holding your arm underneath and again I'm going to lean back and pull that one. Rock a little bit. Stretching you out. Okay. Gently resting it back down. Brushing that energy down and out as well. Okay. Let's now take the selenite. Any tingles? And spruce your aura. Cutting any ties, any cords, not of the Creator's desire that are holding you back and keeping you out of alignment. Down under the feet and up the underneath of you. over your head again, breathe out again, placing my hands on your shoulders, regrounding you, imagine roots growing out of the underneath of you and down through the couch, into the floor below you and into crystal and mineral veins that run underneath the earth. Alternatively, just visualize a pine forest. And feel yourself completely relaxed. Okay. Thank you for this beautiful healing guides and Reiki light. Thank you for keeping us all safe at all times and bring us into alignment of where we are supposed to be. Bye bye.